Let's take a look at another feature found inside the Microsoft Word References tab. We're going to take a look at citations and the bibliography feature. This is a feature that I wish I was aware of back when I was in school. I always had to cite my sources when I would create essays. Right? So your instructor, your teacher would ask you, hey, I want you to write an essay about X topic. I want you to go out and research this. But when you write your essay, I want you to drop in the sources. I want you to cite the sources. Well, I had to do this by hand. I had to go in there, I had to find the source, gather all the information, and then I had to create the bibliography to, to show off all the different sources that I have within this, this document that I've created. Well, here inside of Word, they make it really simple to create citations or sources to manage those sources, and then through a click of a button, to generate the bibliography based off the sources that you've used within your document. Take a look. A couple of steps to this. The first step that we're going to get into is creating the sources themselves. We're going to cite where we get information from. So open in front of you, I've got the exercise file that comes with this lecture. It's called 26 Citations. And it's just a bunch of text, a little chart, and I think i got a table in here. Nothing big. But I want to go through and I want to create some citations that I have within this document. So I'm going to go up to my references tab. On the references tab, I've got a section called citations and bibliography. I'm going to go into manage sources. Give that a click. Now I don't currently have anything in here, but this is where you're going to create your citations, your sources. Who are you citing? All oh, within this document, I, I'm going to cite a, a quote by Bill Gates about the Microsoft Office Suite. I'm going to talk to Billy Bob about some tech industry conference that's coming up. And I'm going to drop in some information about this journal entry that I found by Billy Bob. Uh, and I'm going to cite all of those sources right here. So first step is I need to create a new citation. So I'm going to go ahead and hit new. All right, first step in here is I get to pick the type of source. And, and Microsoft Word gives you several different just default out of the box options for you to pick from. Now, as you scroll through here and take a look, you're going to want to find one that's appropriate for your source, whoever you're citing or whatever element or magazine or journal entry or website that you're citing within your document. You find the appropriate one. As an example, I'll grab website. And it's going to give me a bunch of data, metadata, that I could fill out about that type of source. So on a website, you might guess, we got the author of the website. Let's say we got Bill Gates. The name of the web page. We'll say this is uh, Office 2016 New Features. The name of the website. We'll just say Microsoft. This was in 2016. We'll say August 31st, and this is going to be the URL, the address that I found this article on is going to be www.microsoft.com. All right, so I filled out my source information. I'm citing Bill Gates somewhere inside my document. I create a source for that cite citation. Got it all in there, got all the relevant information that I need. Now, very important. I've got a little tag name that shows up in here. In this case, it's Bill06. So uh, in this case, it's grabbed the author's first three letters there, and it grabbed the uh, 06, oops, 2106. Let's change that. It should be 2016. We'll see that change, 2016. So there's my 16, B-I-L-1-6. So it's just incorporating a couple of different elements to be able to create this tag. Now that's very important. We're gonna see that show up here in just a moment as we continue within our citations. So I've created my first one. I'll hit okay. There it is. I've now got my initial source, my first source within my citations. Let's create another one. I'll go ahead and go back to new. We'll say this one's gonna be a journal, journal article. The author is gonna be uh, Billy Bob. Uh, we'll say that the name of this one is uh, Tech Source. That's going to be the title. The uh, journal name is going. Well, let's, let's say let's say it's going to be called Tech Source for the journal name, but this will be Office Tech for the uh, title of the the article. This was in 2017. 
And then we'll say this is going to be on pages three through seven. All right, now I'm just filling out the source here once again. In this case, specific to a journal entry. Once again, I've now got a new tag for this one, BIL17. I'll hit OK. And now I've got two sources, two citations that I can now utilize within my document and base my bibliography off of. So before we keep going here, before we start marking these entries, we've now captured the sources. Before we get in there and start marking up the document and eventually get into the bibliography, take a moment, open up the document, 26 citations, and create a couple of sources. You can copy mine, you can make up your own, whatever you want to do, but create a couple of sources first.